Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at modding the camera on the Hubson um, X4 Aspire. So, what, to access the camera, which is obviously in the front nose of the copter, you have to remove the four screws. Let me get uh, let me point this out a little bit better. So, remove these four screws, and this uh, main flight control board pulls up. And underneath there is the actual, the, actually the camera board, and you can see the ribbon strip connecting the camera to the board. Now, uh, the lens is a screw-in type lens, and it's rather interesting, very small, kind of like a pinhole camera type lens for a security camera. The one thing to note, if you're a little bit of a CMOS or uh, a CCD aficionado, the hot mirror, very interestingly enough, is actually affixed to the lens rather than the CCD. So it would be actually pretty easy to, I think, adapt this to become an infrared camera. So all you would have to do is remove this hot mirror. I'm not going to do this right in this mod. Uh, however, this probably will be a future mod because I think it would be really cool to modify this to become an infrared uh, camera. But anyways, back on track here a little bit. So this actually screws out. It'll take a little bit of force. This was glued in a little bit. I'm not sure if uh, you can see the, the glue. I, I peeled most of it back off. And uh, so I've screwed it out so you can take a look and see uh, because I'm also interested in and I'll measure this up and see if I can get some other ones to maybe find a little bit more of a fisheye lens for this or, or different lens uh, potentially for a future mod. Uh, anyways, uh, so this now with this kind of cleaned up, I can screw this in or out to adjust the, uh, the uh, uh, focus because really what, what should happen is this should be focused at infinity. Uh, you know, because we're, we're taking distances that are real long ways away. And if you notice from the original flight videos of this, when it landed on the sand, uh, on the ground, and you saw the sand, it was, the sand was very clear because the, the camera was, you know, it was that far from the lens. Whereas if we, when we saw the ship in the water and the other things, it was a long ways away, i.e. infinity. Um, you know, it was blurry. So this is what we have to adjust in whether you go in or out. So I, I actually think um, we might have to pull it out a bit more. Uh, since I don't have an FPV on this, I'm going to have to do a little bit of messing around uh, with writing to the memory card and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll come back and, and talk about what I achieved. Okay, so I messed around with this a little bit, and one of the things I found is I had to turn, I actually had to turn inward the uh, lens a bit. So what I did is I took and I went, by, I went approximately two turns, marking it sort of with my fingers in revolution. And then what I did is I took and, you know, uh, put the card in, took a couple images, looked at them on the computer, and then started backing it up by quarter turns. It took me a good hour, hour and a half of <laughs> turning, swapping cards, turning, swapping cards, but I think I got it about the best of where it's going to be right now. Um, the lens is, is pretty crappy, to be, to be honest. I noticed a lot of moraine patterns. Uh, in, in the, I don't know if it's a CCD or CMOS in there, uh, but a lot of mooring patterns and that's where the, there's an, sort of interference between the aberrations in the lens and the actual colors in, in the CCD or CMOS sites. But uh, anyways, it's the best it's going to get, I think, for, for this guy. Um, I think in the future I will mess around with can maybe converting him to a near-infrared cam or maybe replacing the whole camera altogether. Um, the camera situation is, as I kind of showed the last time, it's his board in the bottom here, and uh, it, it does have quite a bit of, it does seem to have quite a bit of logic going to it from this connector right here, connects the flight board to the camera board, so I'm not sure if there's flight con controller logic on there too or not, but there's a, also a ribbon cable, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a ribbon cable that connects the camera to the actual uh, camera controller and it looks like a microprocessor in there and, and different stuff. Um, it's kind of hard to get at without uh, undoing the wires and stuff from the, the motors and LEDs. Um, so, but anyways, uh, there's a lot of room actually down there and there's a lot of room up here too. So one of the things I'm, I'm interested maybe doing is taking that mate cam that I got, that the little uh, keychain camera, and uh, actually mounting it in the front here. 
because uh, I think there's actually enough room I could probably tuck it up in there in the future. So, uh, But that'll be a future project. So I think I got it good enough for right now. So if you need to fix the focus on it, that's how you'd go about it. And then this is just simply reassemble it as I showed in the reassembly video. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe button will be coming over there. Please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. See you in the next video. Cheers.